he sounded distorted. But anyways. Yeah, I know that uh, in the south, southwest part of the United States and uh, the mountains. Um, Hello? It was very, very cold. Still has snow. Hello, Basil. How are you, Teach? I'm um, good. How about you? I'm great. Awesome. How about you, Enoch? Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I'm good, good. Good to hear. Yes. How about Juan? Hello, hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Oh, hello. I'm doing well, thank you. What about oh. you? Doing good. Oh, nice to see it here. Yeah, nice to see you too. How about uh, Ken? Hello. Oh, this is Ken. How are you? I'm good. Nice to meet you, Ken. Yeah, nice to meet you too. And Malik. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm, I'm great. How, how about you? I'm doing good. Yeah, I've just entered. I think uh, it's my first listen with you, with you. Uh, I hope uh, I'll enjoy your courses. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Thank you. Okay. Nice to meet you. But, uh, but here, I don't I don't see you. where are you in the in the video. Which uh, one? I uh, the one with the tree. Ah, number three. Okay. With the tree, the tree, the red. Ah, okay, with tree. Okay. okay, so you don't have a webcam. Okay. I currently don't have a uh, video. Okay, right. it's okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Mm -hmm. All right, how about uh, Melvin? Melvin, you there? How about Slowin? Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. Awesome. I apologize about any extra sound, but it helps. Uh, I live close to the airport, so I'm gonna try to be mute most of the time. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I hear I heard a little bit of distortion, um, so I understand. Yeah. There's a lot of this robot is voice. Yeah, like a robot. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, welcome everyone to the high advanced grammar. Um, there is no set course um, for this class, so if we go um, outside of the quizzes that I have, you know, that's totally fine. Um, this is all about nitpicking, answering your questions that you may have regarding some grammar. Um, you know, we can look them up together and learn about something specific. If you have a question, um, or we can start doing these um, these grammar quizzes and uh, go from there. So first off, does anybody have any grammar questions or things that they feel they need clarified? No. No, nobody. All right. Well, I have one. Yes. Uh, can I ask about where? Can you say that again? You got distorted. Frank.
Something happened. Something wrong with we're in there. I could be here. Okay. Uh, I, I couldn't hear. I'm going to go ahead to look, I'm, I'm look at this grammar practice quiz. Um, this is intermediate to advanced or high intermediate to advanced. Um, maybe some TFL preparation. So it's pretty, pretty up there. Um, we'll see how well you guys are doing on these questions. And uh, I'll, I'll go from there. OK, so number one, um, how about Enoch? Ooh. So you could read and fill in the blank. Yes. So. Should, should I choose the correct answer? Yep. If you could read it for me too, that'd be great. Okay. Well, the size of the pupil in the eye is a good indicator of a person's interest, emotion, attitude, and thought processes. Yay! Very good. Yeah, okay. Sweet. Excellent. All yeah. right. Frank, are you back? Maybe Juan? Or Ken? Yeah. Yes, yes, Ken. All right. How about number two, Ken? Well, I can. Uh, okay. Ojan? Uh, is extremely active chemically and uh, succeed in damaging any vegetation it com uh, comes in contact with. Yes. Oh, Sweet. good. All right, very Got good. It. Malik, Thank you. you're up next. Yeah. Yes, but here I don't, I don't see anything, no. Uh, I have uh, just seen the trees, trees with books. I don't know if I have problem oh, in my laptop. Or... Uh, Where is this? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I read it. Okay. Fog is caused. Fog is caused by. Oh uh, no! I should switch back. No, uh, I think, yeah, like that, it's it's okay. F fog, fog is caused by the cooling of, of air until its water vapor condenses. Uh, condenses the microscopic water droplets or ice crystals. So condenses, fog is caused by the cooling. Until its water vapor contest to, to uh, for me, for me, for me, I think. Yeah, it's like that. Okay, yes, thank you. No. All right, Sweetland, I can kind of hear you. Do you have a question? Okay. Uh, what is foreign? What is foreign? Foreign. Foreign. All right. Foreign. Or form. Um, so to form is to organize people or things into forming. things. Things combine to form together. Mm 
like uh, the the you know earthquakes in volcanoes formed mountains because lava lava is liquid rock and it forms um, um, solid rock when it so dies. it's for it's for a shape yep shape um, also um, shape structure a combination of things um, there's also um, a form of animal life like we are a form of animal life like humans um, there's also uh, yeah it's like the, the how, how about how about third mean meaning um, procedure procedure as determined are governed by regulation or custom so like uh, I I don't know this meaning. Um, so, like forms, like government forms, oh, like okay. things that you have to fill out, <laughs> like, like papers, paperwork. Like if you, okay. are, if you're like traveling to another country, um, there's a lot of forms and regulations that you must. Um, you must abide by, you must do that in order to, to visit or stay. Okay. So it's a naked landscape or something like that. Like, uh, uh like, like just, um, Rules. Rules that you have oh, to okay. follow, I guess. Uh, rules. But um, maybe you really are going to hear it is, you know, the shape, shape of an object, or the appearance, or so, something like that. There's a lot of different meanings, actually. But the more you know, we can practice. We can practice more with forming or form if you guys want to. Maybe look up some some form examples. Would that be good? All right, I'll look some up. Okay, actually, um, I didn't look that up earlier, so um, let me see. Ah, it keeps taking me to something that I don't want. Word forms. I don't want word forms. Well, it's, it's difficult to, to find uh, some exercises. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> yeah, here I think I find one. Oh, yeah. I press it. Look at this, this one. I wonder why links aren't working. Oh, oh wait, 
this is different. This is word form for uh, for these vocabulary words. The ones in the parentheses. Okay, how about I'll do one last search and then we'll, we'll move on. Um, That is difficult. Difficult thing. To search for. So, unfortunately, form uh, is a very common word with various meanings. And, um, you know, I might be able to make a lesson about it actually uh, in the future, but. Um, well, let's move on because it's really hard to search for uh, because of, of its uses. Um, because something in grammar that we're always talking about is is word form, like the form of the word. Like words can take different shapes depending on their usage in a sentence. So that's what Google keeps thinking that I'm talking about word forms. But, anyways, how about number four? Um, Frank, are you back? Yeah. All right. Would you like to answer this question? Okay. Um. I would use uh, the last one, yes. Okay, can you read the full sentence with the answer for me? Wait, water is one of the few substances that expand upon freezing. Sweet. We're going to run through uh, again, and then if anybody has any other questions, uh, we can do that. All right, one. Yeah. Would you like to answer number five? Yeah, but I couldn't see it. Okay, now it's okay. Noises is now construction of the smaller earth. Noise is now to cause. So noise is known to cause. Can you read the rest? Constriction of the small arteries. Smaller very arteries. Very good, very good. All right, how about Ken? Yeah, yes. Could you read this one? Number five? I can see that number five. No, number five. I, I, there's an old six. Says Georgia O'Keefe. I think either I've got some. Can, can you show the uh, number six, please? Yeah, I have it on there right now. Yeah. I, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I see. Uh, number six. Joya Okefe. Um, okay, I'll try the, the number one. Celebrated urban landscape of uh, skyscrapers in her early paintings and the later attunes to West, uh, worst Western themes. Wow, wow. Wow. 
Southwestern. <laughs> I think that's a misspelling. It's supposed to say Southwestern, not Wildwestern. Um, so some, Um, oh, what's the meaning of the uh, oh, so, uh, worth, worth Western? It's actually Southwestern. Southwestern. It's spelling. Okay. Like cowboy themes. So which one do you choose? So, Number uh, number one, celebrated of urban landscapes. All oh, right. Ooh. all right. Number seven, Malik. Yes, let's let's try. Uh, greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide accumulating the atmosphere, and. Uh, from escaping from the planet. Prevent the sun's heat. Prevent, I think it's uh, C, prevent the sun's heat. All right, very nice, sweet. Good, uh, okay. excuse me. Yes. How do I pronounce dioc it's dioxide, dioxide? Yes, dioxide. Thank you. Dioxide, okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah I apologize if uh, my internet is a little slow. I just typed in something and pushed enter. It took a while for it to get there. All right, you guys are doing very, very good. Um, I'm going to actually find a more, there is a more advanced um, quiz. Um, okay. So, but um, this, is, this is like a TFL preparation quiz. But before we do that, um, Frank, did you have yes. um, a question? Yes, but may I ask about any kind of questions about English? Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I have a doubt, a doubt and about uh, two expressions I have heard recently. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm not mistaken and if I'm not wrong. Both say, both same meaning and use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like if uh, are they interchangeable? Let me think of an example. Um, so uh, you would say, say you have a dog, and you're not exactly sure what kind of dog it is. Mm -hmm. You'd say, if I'm not mistaken, I think my dog is a terrier and lab mix. Mm -hmm. uh, you could also say, um, if I'm not wrong, I think that my dog is a terrier or, or lab and lab mix. Mm -hmm. um, both okay, are, so. They're pretty interchangeable. Yeah, okay, interchangeable. Wrong. Okay, clear. Yeah. Thank you. But um, just as like American informal language goes, um, I think that people like uh, my mom or something would say, uh, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, okay. Yeah. But then um, younger um, people might not say something like that because it sounds a little formal. We would say something like, um, you know, you know, I might be wrong, but, uh, you know, 
I might be wrong, but I think this or that. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, I think it's more of like a formal, informal type thing. So mm -hmm. if, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's more like a mm -hmm. polite. Basically, I, are, are both correct? Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's let's jump into this error correction quiz for uh, two for preparation. So, so what we have to do here is identify the error. So find out what word doesn't fit. Now we're going to click it. Um, And that'll determine whether we get it right or wrong, I guess. So I'll do the first one. One of the key factors in improving your tennis game are concentration. So R, yeah, did fit there. All right, does that make sense? Yes. All right, so how about... Um, Amanda, go. Are you there? Hi. How are you? How are you, Amanda? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good, I'm good. Would you like to read this sentence? And we're going to click on the word that doesn't fit. This is, this is a grammar um, quiz. It's called uh, error correction. You still there? Oh, she left. Okay, how about Frank? Okay. Um, I think. Uh, uh, we should use theirs instead of its. Okay, can you read the full sentence? R rub hard strokes are at uh, theirs best when they are large and juicy. All right, let's see. Good job, nice. All right. How about Ken? Yes, I'll try. Uh, most contemporary hunters and gatherers uh, live in a small group uh, called call band, call band is, uh, call, call band. So which one needs to be changed? Mm, yeah, I uh, I think you know, call call should be yeah. called call oh. yeah very good call yeah all right Malik okay uh, can you could you uh, share the screen please. I don't see anything here. Should be there. Okay. Jokes, word play, and critical role playing. Word play and critical role Something. Satirical. Satirical mm, role play. Come on. I don't know. I think it's senses. No? Says no. So let's let's read it together. No, it's not sense. It's, uh, jokes. Yeah, jokes. Oh, jokes. Word play and satirical role playing are way of assaulting common sense. Something common sense. So, 
It's one of these two. Ah, uh, one of these. Ah. Uh, Way, maybe. Yes. Wait, but I don't. This is jokes. But I don't know which. which it's a yeah. plural. This is the plural form of joke. So jokes, wordplay, and satirical roleplay. These are. So ways in plural. Yeah, these are three examples of different ways. Yes. Ways of assaulting. Comics. Ways in plurals. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Number five. That was a tough one. Okay. Oscar. Oscar, are you there? It's just a static picture of you. Okay, how about Squealer? Maybe she's just listening in, Squealer. Hi. This like is my turn. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So if you could read. Ah, okay. The term cyberspace was coined by science fiction writer William Gibson in its novel Neuromancer and defined as consensual hallucination. The term cyberspace was coined. It's on its novel. No, no, it's not. His novel. Yes. In his novel. You're on the experts. Very good. Oh, right. How about Frank? Okay. Growing beautiful flower is one of the most rewarding aspects of gardening. Um, I think uh, flower is wrong. I will use flowers. Yeah, very good. Flowers. Growing beautiful flowers is one of the most rewarding aspects of gardening. Correct? Pretty, yeah, that was an easy one. That was good. All right. Sweet. Is this a good quiz or do we want... Um, to increase the difficulty. Do you want more of a mm -hmm. challenge or are these questions a good level? What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. That's good? Okay. Do I have to guess? Oh, no, I was asking you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was asking you guys, um, is that... Is this a good quiz, or would you like one that is more difficult? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Okay. Let me see here. If uh, all the students agree, why not? Yeah. So let's see. Um, So we have the challenge to the uh, more difficult ones? Yes. <laughs> okay, I am. <laughs> okay, let's uh, <laughs> we'll, Yeah, we'll, tr we'll try for our level. Well, actually, I'm not sure uh, what the uh, uh, advanced level in grammar okay. or beginners uh, yeah. levels in grammar. <laughs> I don't know what's the difference. So let's anyway. see here. Yeah. Advanced English. So we're doing grammar. Try test 241. I will see how this one works. Um, 
How about Ken? Yes. Would you like to do number one? Okay. Uh, could you make a, a, uh, a little bit, please? Can you see it? Um, well, I cannot see it right now. Okay. Um, could you make a, make a bigger, little bit, please? Okay. Yes. Thanks. Number one, I, I try number one. Yep. Okay. Money, um, no fame, no wealth. Uh, has uh, brought happiness to everybody. All right. We'll, uh, we'll check at the end. But, yeah, that's right. All right. Very good. So number okay. two. How about uh, Juan? Were you there? Yeah. Okay, cool. How about number two? Uh, they at this school before they can interpret this. They... They were taught at this school before they became interpreters. They were taught at this school. Uh, we'll check. Uh, yeah, it's probably right. So number three. How about uh, Malik? Okay, let's try. The salary of bus driver is much higher. Then, much higher in comparison with salary. I think it's A in comparison with uh, the salary of a teacher. Oh, right. So after this? Um, it's either that or than that of a teacher. Oh, that's the second. Maybe. That's, I don't think it's... Uh, I think, I think when, uh, when we use... Uh, yeah. I think when we use comparative, uh, we say that uh, is, uh, is higher, uh, like this. But uh, here we have much, so I don't know if uh, if uh, there is uh, some ch change or something like that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the uh, it's a answer one. Or I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> I'll have to check. It out. Ah, okay. <laughs> if that was, uh, I'm sorry. If that was a uh, letter B, uh, isn't should be like? Can you go back to to the three? Okay. Uh, yes. If that was then a teacher, should I believe it should be then a teachers, right? Because the yeah. salary of a bus driver is much higher than a teachers. Yeah. So then yeah, we know I, that the salary is is from the teacher, I believe. That's why I believe it's not no, uh, letter B, because it doesn't have the S. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Mistaken. I think it's uh, letter C. Yeah, maybe. Maybe when we use uh, comparative. Afraid. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. So I, I think um, let's just put it on that one. Yeah, we'll see so after we'll see after there. correction. All right, number four. Uh, who's next? Was it Sweden? Hi, uh, I just can't see the okay. Professional people ex expect you to call them when it's necessary. Uh, 
uh, professional people expect you to call them when it's necessary to cancel appointment. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's the AM number. Ah, uh, okay, to cancel, and it's necessary to cancel an appointment. Yep. I believe it's A. Yep, that's right. All right, number five, um, Frank. Okay, a computer is usually chosen because of its simplicity of operation and uh, ease of maintenance as well as I will I will use as well as its capacity of store information. All right. So let's show the results. All right. It's Got very it. good. Five as well as. Excuse me. What means the maintenance? Maintenance um, is okay. So like a car. A car needs a lot of maintenance to keep running. You'll be driving a car for a long time, and next thing you know, uh, the oil's leaking, or uh, it needs a oil change or some fuel filter, air filter change. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same the uh, meaning of a fix. Uh, to fix mm -hmm. or to keep up with. Like, uh, computers are pretty low maintenance because you put them all together and you don't really have to do very much else to them. For, you know, maybe if you want to upgrade it, make it faster. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's uh, the. Uh, what about the, the use the maintenance instead of a fix? Uh, means if we use the, the easy of a fix. Well, it's, uh, it's different than fix. Okay. Um, because fix is when something's broken. Maintenance is oh, it's not necessarily yes. broken. And it just needs to be kept up with. You have to. Uh, so maintenance uh, is more broad meaning. Um, so yeah, like we have here. Uh, there's three maintenance and repair. So to repair something is to fix something that is broken. To keep the maintenance on something is to keep it well kept so that it doesn't break. They spelled that wrong. <laughs> B-R-E-A. Okay. So before something breaks, uh, you maintain it. So maintenance comes yeah, from the word means, uh, to maintain. So, so like a regular maintenance assessment. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, when we take a look uh, about uh, equipment. Yeah, car, yeah. car should be uh, main, maintained uh, yearly, something like that. Yeah, every 3,000 yeah. miles or every three months yeah. you must maintain your car or uh, you must maintain uh, a good work ethic at work or else you'll get fired or something so, or you must maintain uh, if you have a funky hairdo that you have to do every morning it takes a lot of maintenance mm. all right so number two was uh they yeah i wasn't exactly sure so it was probably they taught at the school, right? Or they had taught. Yeah, even yeah. number three is false. Yeah, this one was uh, they had taught at this school before they became interpreters. That was the the one.
And uh, number one uh, was correct. We had Lane or Fame or Well. This has brought at least three to the yeah. Money nor fame nor wealth have brought happiness to everybody. So yes, very good. He was really good on that one too. Well, sorry, number two, which, which, which is the correct answer? For number two, yeah. had taught. Number two, have, have taught. It's had. Yeah. Had dot. Okay. Yeah. It's past perfect. Yeah. They had taught at this school before they came. Uh, interpreters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't yeah, exactly correct. sure. Because, because, because uh, uh, yeah, yeah they could have been taught. I think uh, past, past perfect. Sorry, I think past perfect become uh, before the past. It's like that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Makes makes sense. Let's see. Is there? A, let's see if we can find another um, advanced quiz, like a T four. Learn for good. All right. Uh, I, I, I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, the situation uh, is a boy uh, back to uh, the house and he knocked and uh, the mother uh, said, who is it? And the boy uh, reply, it's me or it's I, which one is correct? Um, it's me. It's me is correct? Yeah. Uh, or if you wanted to say it, if you wanted to say it all proper, you would say, it it's is I. It is I, Zachary. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. I have a question. When somebody says to you, you are to pay a fee at this part of the process, for example, mm -hmm. it's the same thing of saying you must to pay the fee? You must pay the fee. Or so you you, you are to pay the fee at this part of the process or you must to pay the fee are the same thing? Yes, you can say um, both. You can say and you are to pay the fee at this part of the process or you must pay the fee at this part of the process. Okay, and both of them are usual? Yep. Or you okay. have to pay the fee at this part of the process. Thank you. Yep. All right, did anybody have uh, anything else? Next test, maybe? All right, let's look at a uh, uh, hat group. These are adverb clauses. So how about, um, is that, is that Huang? Huang, are you there? Yes, me. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe Wayne's not here. All right, Frank. Okay. Uh, How would you like to do number one? Okay.
Um, I would use uh, this is very difficult to me I would use A despite of getting the highest result in the class John still had problems with the teacher what does everybody else think anybody else A, B, C or D I think P, in spite of getting the highest result in the class. I believe it's A. It was B. Like me. So, it was B, in spite of. Uh, uh, yeah, in spite right. of. Yes. In spite of getting the highest results, the highest result in class, John still had problems with the teacher. But the uh, law, uh, despite of or in spite of the uh, noun or term. Um, yeah. So these are uh, these are adverb adverb clauses. Teacher, yes. can you explain me about uh, this expression in spite of? Yeah, in spite of. Okay, so first we should look at the word spite. Um, like spite. Okay, so say you got into an argument or something and you just didn't like somebody. So every time you know you you interacted with that person, you always said something to spite them. Uh, or even if you agreed with them, you'd say something in spite of them or out of spite, meaning that you say something to offend them or hurt or annoy, like on purpose. So John, John agreed with Catherine, but, um, but, uh, but didn't, you know, but didn't agree to their terms in spite of her. You know, so maybe, maybe you're playing a game of poker, right? Like a card game. And because you have like such a, a fierce rivalry, or like because you're, you have somebody there that's your enemy, like even if you win, you're like, you know, uh, John, John beat Max but John did not uh, John did not give him John did not give Max his money right, of him uh, I have a question does that make sense? Yeah, yes. but, but here I think we're talking about despite and uh, despite of. And, uh, is it? Yeah, in spite of. Um, See, like you don't want to do it, but you do it anyway. In, in spite of yourself, in spite of teacher, is it in spite of uh, another way? Say, for example, outthought sometimes. Like what? Uh, Mm -hmm. I'm hearing a lot of background noise from uh, Malik. Malik, okay. sorry, I can't hear anything. I'm gonna mute you for a second. Okay, go ahead, Frank. Um, I would, 
I was saying uh, if uh, in spite of uh, can be another way to say for example for example although although ah I still couldn't hear you it was getting it got um, distorted can you say it one more time mm -hmm. yes so what was it I couldn't hear you can you hear me now yes uh, I'll repeat my question. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, if I uh, if I have oh, understood uh, well, you know. uh, <laughs> in spite of can be another way to huh? say although. 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 Okay. Though. Although. Yeah. Okay. So let's 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 read here. In spite of and despite are exactly the same in all their definitions. They're usually mm -hmm. interchangeable. Um, so there's nothing wrong with in spite of, same with despite. Uh, it's just me? like, yes. Uh, this is Ken. I have questions. Uh, when we use the in spite of, uh, in, sp uh, in spite of the uh, has. Uh, a comma uh, will be uh, ahead of in spite of, for so example, you, uh, yeah. You don't what, what I mean is mean. not yeah. In spite of the uh, verb is uh, not in front of, but uh, the uh, the letter. Then uh, the comma. Uh, we need a comma before in spite of, or we don't need a comma. Like in this example, um, you have to put a comma um, when it's being used as a, mm -hmm. um, you know, like a little, little intro added information type thing. Mm -hmm. um, so in spite of that. Yeah, in that case, is the in spite of is ahead of a sentence, but it's a behind the sentence. Oh, uh, then yeah. What well, would be an example? Um, yeah. uh, uh, for example, I, I saw it in spite of uh, obstacle. For example, in that case, see, I saw it. Come 